This is the short box series of movements on the ladder barrel. Um, this is a wonderful place to perform the short box simply because it gives a placement for the pelvis uh, and, and much more feedback for the spine. And so the setup for this position is basically with the legs at 90-90. So we want to we want to place the pelvis in such a way that when she rolls back, that she can place her sacrum back on the barrel. So go ahead and come back, good, without tucking her hips, and then she comes forward. And the knees are at, are at hip level, and the knees are directly over um, the ankles. And so this is a wonderful working position. I'm not going to keep Deb here too long. <laughs> So lift up and out of the hips and take an initial contraction to open up your lower back. And then take a second contraction just to feel that connection to the barrel. And then maintaining that flexion, rounding the body forward and then roll up and out of the hips. So again, it's two breaths back, opening up the hips on the first breath, touching the lumbar spine on the second, keeping that curved spine to come forward and rolling up and out of the hips. And then inhale, lift up, exhale, hinge back. Inhale, lift, exhale, hinge. Simply opening and folding the hips, hinge back one more time, hinge back, lift up, and find that lift again, up and out of your hips, rotate to the right, hinge on the diagonal, lifting up, coming center, Rotate left, hinge on the diagonal, up and center. One more each side. Notice how the movement starts with the pelvis as she goes back and lift up, come center, adding on to this, rotate, hinge back, extend that line, center, flex the spine contract forward and roll all the way up. Other side, rotate and hinge, stretch the hinge, center, flex and contract, coming up and over and rolling up through the spine. Nice, good. And you'll notice that we're using a Fletcher braided towel instead of a dowel. You could also use a dowel for this exercise. This just encourages a little more back engagement and chest expansion. Thank you, Deb.